Welcome to another Flights with Joel video. This is the new Shrike 530F. The new budget-friendly line from Blackbird Simulations. It is very similar to the 500E that has already come out, but different at the same time. And there is the 500E. Now, I realized once I started making this video that I have not made one about the 500E. So I decided I would do both at the same time. So it's a bit of a comparison video, but not exactly. As I'm not really comparing them, I'm just showing you both in the same video. This is the 500E from Cowan Simulations, which has been out for a bit now. So many of us know all about it. There are many things about them that are similar and many things about them that are different. Here is an example of the animation for the rotors, this is the cyclic. I'm moving the cyclic around now. There's the cyclic. You see the wing in the back. That's cool. This is the 530F. And there's the collective animation. Now the collective animation, obviously, is a lot more interesting. Let's move around to the tail. Here's the pedals on the 530F. And there's a cyclic again. And here's the cyclic on the 500E. And the collective on the 500E in the rotor system for the Cowan Sim. And let's move around to the back. And here's the tail rotor. And obviously my light's on. Now here are some of the accoutrements for the 500E. We have quite a bit of attachments. And as you can hear, the sound is quite different. That's a lineman. And these are some of the attachments for the 530F. I need to speak a little louder as it is loud. This is all of the attachments for the 530F. Do those guns fire? And now we're back in the cockpit of the 530F. Here we go. Let's start up uh, key on, battery on, start fuel pump on, anti collision light, rotor brake is off. I have a start button on my uh, throttle, so I can use that. Make sure the throttle is rolled all the way down. It turns out you can hot start it. I did. Checking all the instruments. I may have missed a couple of things. Roll the throttle all the way down. Here we go. Engage fuel. Engage fuel. There it goes. And here it comes. Mm -hmm. 
As I said earlier, it is louder than the 500E. I like the sounds. I think it's great. Now my lights come on. Generator on. Oh, generator can't come on yet or it'll start beeping. Okay, everything is ready to go. We'll turn this up all the way. As you can see, the RPM is already into the red. It's way over what it's supposed to be. I've had successful starts where it doesn't do that, but for some reason it's doing it now. So I think that's intermittent. I'm not sure if it happens every time. I'm trying to adjust it here. It's not really working, but you just pull it up into a hover a little bit. And there we go, it comes back down and basically acts like it has a governor. Hello, governor! Generator can come on now. Let's get some air in here. Map on. And all those little switches, all those little uh, fuses do work. Which is really cool. The fuses work. ready to go in the 530F. Now, it's the 500E. Same thing. Same thing. Let's see what happens. Fuel in. Battery on. Start pump on. Lighting lights. Uh, Anti-collision lights on. The vent is already open. Checking the different views. Because I missed. Okay, that the uh, rotor brake is off. Roll the throttle all the way down. Make sure it's rolled down. And you'll see how much quieter this is. There we go. Battery can, oh, it needs to go all the way up. Two clicks. And there it goes. I'm holding the throttle, the starter in, holding the starter on. And you can see how much more detail this model has. It's approximately 12 US more than the 530F. If you're like me and you just want to collect every helicopter there is, definitely get the 530F and the 500E. If you just want one, well, I hope I hope this helps you decide. Uh, the fuses here also work. Avionics are on. Generator on. Roll the throttle all the way up. You see the um, rotor RPM is already up and ready, up and locked. So the gauges aren't 100%, but the 500E's gauges are closer than the 530F by a little bit, by smidgy smidge. I think we're ready to fly. Oh, hey! There's someone else getting ready to go. Now we're going to just uh, put on some tunes and fly it around a bit. As you saw in the description, we are at the incredible Victoria Falls Scenery by Jepson 2001. Link is in the description. 
and really a must have if you're flying the helicopters.
So, here we are in one of the awesome hidden helipads. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, it's been a pleasure making this video on the 530 from Shrike. And, whoa, and here he comes. The 500E from Cow and Sim Simulations. Let's see if he can hit that H. Well, pretty close. The H is not 100% solid. We uh, will be back soon with another great video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all that. Take care.